I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to first identify the strength in a dealt hand and then practice making decisions during the Charleston. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do the exercise three times. We'll start as East, also known as the Dealer. Then we'll be Non-Dealer, and then we'll be Dealer again. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'll create a Mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker flower, red dragon, one, five, eight, nine, and bams, pair one, pair nine. In dots we have one, six, seven. In cracks we have a one and a four. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd build around the multiples, which means odds. So I would let the evens go. Probably me pass that red dragon just to make this a little safer to pass. I wouldn't pick a hand. We're just going to gather odds. There's an odd. We have a five, one, five, five, nine. I think what I might do is maybe focus on the concealed hand or maybe one, nine with five, seven in the middle. Maybe keep this seven. We could maybe play like numbers with ones. So I think what I would do is probably We'll give up on the concealed hand, maybe pass the five. I think like numbers with ones might work. And then maybe one nine with odd, little odd, odd pairs in the middle with a different suit. One and five, one five. So one, seven, one, one, five, nine. We have a six. I'd let the seven go and probably these nines. Maybe play like numbers with ones or one, three, five. Little odds, even though we have no threes. Maybe keep the five for just a little bit. I'd break that up, focus on the ones. We got a flower and a dragon. I think like numbers with ones, but we have a pair and nines. We did right across left. We're getting ready to do the second left. I would not stop the Charleston. We can pick a hand, free up tiles and continue. So maybe break up the five and pass the green. Focus on like numbers with ones and flowers. Whoa, we got a pair. We'll keep it. And now we'll go across. This is a little risky, but we're one away from set. We're actually set with just these tiles. We can Kong, Pung, Pung, and there's our pair. No keepers. A flower. 
in the optional cross, pass two. No keepers. So we have flowers with like numbers. Two discards. I'd say we'd be a front runner for this hand. We need to Kong Kong Kong. And we have our pair. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull one. Flower, east, west, south. One, four, five, eight in bams, three, four in dots, three, eight, nine in cracks. No multiples. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? Since we have no multiples, I'd focus on the predominant pattern. And from what I see, that would be three, four, five. So I would keep three, four, five, maybe the one, because we could maybe do little odds, one, three, five. I'd pass the, one, the eight, the nine, and one of the wins. Let's see what happens. We got a two. We could do two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, little odds. I'd pass a wind and an eight and a nine. We got a two and a four. We have three tiles to pass. We have all one through five in here. In mixed suits, we may not be able to use all these tiles. We could maybe make this better by passing a one bam and focus on two, three, four, five, four numbers. There's a two bam and our first multiple with a four. So I would reassess and build around the four. Something with the flower and the four. We could do two, three, four. We could maybe do the three, four pair hand. We wanna keep that flower. So two, three, four, two, three, four, four. Here's a five, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. I would pass these three. Six, two, four, six, eight. It looks like the predominant pattern changed to evens. I would still keep the three dot because we could do two, three, four with flowers. Two, four, six, eight, fours. I would pass these three. Two, six. Oh, here's a four, two. Okay, so evens. Four, six. Two, four, four, six. Two, four, six, eight. We have a, we went right across left, left across. This is the last right. I probably would not keep all these tiles with a pung of fours. Let's see here. Maybe we should keep that three for two, three, four, four, six, two, four, 
I was thinking two, four, four, six, and then eight crack, but we have no eight crack. We could do two, four, and cracks, but then that would mean we'd pass all bams. I think I'd rather break that up a little. Let's pass these three. Six crack. I don't think that's going to be helpful. Two, four, six, eight, and two, four. Let's pass these three in the optional. One, five. These are discards. So I wouldn't pick a hand. I'd gather and focus on either consecutive run or two, four, six, eight of some kind. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, right? Pull two and what you would have done with these tiles in the comment section below. We have a couple of jokers, a flower, south, white, two, six, seven, nine in dots, six, nine in bams, one, two, four in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? Sometimes, when we get tiles in mixed suits and there are no multiples, I look for like number potential. And we have a few. We have twos, sixes, and nines. And that leaves us with a pass. Let's just pass these three and see if we can play a like number hand with or without the dragon. We have a seven. We need two, six, or nine. So, oh, now we have the ones also. One, two, that's consecutive. We might be able to switch to one, two. We, have, we need one tile. Twos, let's let the nines go. If we happen to get fours and eights, we could switch to two, four, six, eight. If we get threes, we could maybe play a year hand. So let's pass these three. We got a three. One, two, three. So consecutive is probably the predominant pattern now. And we do have tiles we can pass. That's a little bit risky. We could do ones with like numbers, twos with like numbers, so maybe we can pass one of each suit. We got a white dragon. I'd probably play a year hand. Here's a multiple now, sixes. White dragon, two, three, year hand or like numbers with sixes. If we play a year hand with flowers, we would need dragons. So maybe what we could do is keep the sixes and pass a dragon. We could still maybe play a year hand with flowers we're, we're missing a three bam, but we could also maybe play like numbers with sixes. Let's pass these three. Ooh, I don't like passing white dragons. Okay, let's see. What we could do is maybe play the first year hand, two, zero, two, three, and let the sixes go. Let's do that. 
We got twos. Perfect for that first hand. Let's pass these three. We got a three. Year hand and tiles to pass. We have a dragon and two discards. So we have 2023, oh my goodness. Oh, we have jokers. I was gonna say maybe we could play the big year hand, but we've got two jokers. I would use those. I would let that go for the optional. No keepers. And let's see here. We're still missing a suit, no three bam. I would just keep gathering, but probably the first hand is what I would play with either suit. Really, we have four discards in a hand, the first hand. So I would say that was a pretty good Charleston. If you would have done something differently, Write pull three in the comment section below and what you would do with these tiles. The game does not officially begin until East discards that first tile. Before that is the Charleston. This is when players pass tiles to exponentially improve their dealt hand. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you with your game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.